Oh boy, we got an updated uh, control app on a brand new uh, uh, ten and a half inch uh, Samsung uh, uh, S3 or S actually it's S6 uh, tablet, and uh, you can see it here. And so we're gonna uh, we had a couple of uh, nice days and uh, fairly moderate temperatures, so we decided to charge everything up and and give it a shot. Uh, so we took brought it out here to uh, uh, the Geneva Marina and decided to give it a, a try here. And we're heading out over the uh, frozen marina. Uh, the air temperature was around 50 degrees, but uh, the water temperature is uh, still around 32 degrees. And uh, we're in a normal 1x zoom right now, and we're flying over uh, the ice. You can see that it's, uh, you know, sort of frozen in patches uh, and uh, it's broken up several times and refroze and we're going out uh, the lake is uh, itself is uh, uh, close to the shore is is ice free but that's only because there's a south wind if you look right on the horizon you can see that there's ice flows out there and uh, that usually happens uh, this time of the year the ice wanders out and comes back in and goes back out comes back in so we came out to here to the uh, channel where the boats leave the marina and go out into the lake and uh, we decided we'd uh, pan back and forth here a little bit see some uh, seagulls flying back and forth they're uh, pretty uh, uh, popular uh, down here at this uh, this location we're looking uh, this direction instead of west where there's a beach and we're going to take a, a quick uh, look at that uh, a little bit later in the video and we're going to pan slowly back to the uh, to the east here there's a lighthouse that you see out there and a uh, coast guard uh, boy and we're gonna catch uh, as you can see again on the on the horizon you can see some uh, ice way out on the lake uh, there's a the shoreline which has still got a considerable amount of ice to it and some vegetation which is far away from getting green and we're heading in this direction we'll be heading back towards the inside of the marina so as we head back in here, uh, see that light pole over there on the left? That's uh, that pole is about 200 feet high, and uh, we're gonna come by a, a flock of uh, seagulls that I, I really didn't notice in in the uh, screen. Didn't really notice them until uh, they decided to take off, and uh, uh, I got a little bit uh, worried that I was going to run into some of them. But uh, they did a good job avoiding me, and I just turned around and, and headed back towards. Uh, uh, where I took off so I could get uh, uh, another uh, fresh start and head out again and readjust the uh, the zoom factor um, across the uh, the, the uh, way there you can see uh, uh, what they call a natural wetlands area you can see me uh, standing there by my little white car and we turned around here and we put it back into uh, 2x zoom now I usually never go more than uh, 2x because uh, or 3x at the most because the uh, video quality starts to uh, break up uh, considerably uh, beyond that. We're going to head uh, to the west here over what is known as uh, Breakwater Beach. This is the beach that's just adjacent to the marina. It's usually where I come down and, and shoot the uh, dredging of the uh, channel. And uh, as I was coming down here, I, I saw some people walking along the beach. Now, I'm, I'm still f uh, shooting video here in uh, 2x zoom. Uh, so... I saw these people, and I was thinking of doing a low pass over them, but then common sense took over, and I decided that wouldn't be such a hot idea. So we just got a little bit of video of them uh, walking there and walking their dogs. Now we're back in uh, one egg zoom, and we're going to be uh, heading back towards towards the uh, shore. But uh, when you're flying and you're flying strictly FPV, you have to watch out for uh, items that are around, like these trees that are on my uh, right hand side. I'm actually below the level of these. Uh, these uh, trees so I always got to pay attention to uh, what you're doing to make sure you don't uh, run into anything we're at 1x zoom here uh, heading back in and uh, I, I was wearing a hat cam uh, uh, so we're going to uh, shift the view from uh, the uh, Evo back to uh, my hat cam and observe how we uh, back it in to avoid uh, getting uh, a bunch of uh, alarms from the uh, obstacle avoidance uh, system and here you see we're uh, backing it, it in. There's a couple, uh, few people walking their dog, and 
they were watching uh, the whole process and were quite amused at uh, how well the uh, Evo land that I told them was a piece of cake. Anyways, thanks for coming by and uh, watching. Um, the weather was nice. I hope we get some more decent weather here sh shortly. And if we do, we'll uh, put up some more videos. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Leave a comment if you're so inclined. And uh, come back for the uh, next one.